The world is facing an unprecedented global hunger crisis. The war in Ukraine has compounded problems that have been brewing for years. Climate disruption, the COVID-19 pandemic, the deeply unequal recovery. This year's food access issues could become next year's a global food shortage. No country will be immune to the social and economic repercussions of such a catastrophe. Ukraine, one of the world's biggest exporters of grain, is seeking ways to get grain and vegetable oils out of the country after shipments stalled following Russia's invasion in February. The conflict prompted the United Nations to pitch a plan to reopen shipping routes from Odessa and other Ukrainian ports. Turkey is in talks with Russia, Ukraine and the United Nations to establish a safe corridor for blocked Ukraine grain exports via Istanbul. There can be no effective solution to the global food crisis without reintegrating Ukraine's food production as well as the food and fertilizer produced by Russia into old markets despite the war. I've been in intense contact with Ukraine, the Russian Federation, Turkey, the United States, the European Union and others on this issue. The main costs to farmers are fertilizers and energy. Fertilizer prices have risen by more than half in the past year and energy prices by more than two thirds. All harvests will be hit, including rice and corn, affecting billions of people across Asia, Africa and the Americas. The Horn of Africa is also suffering its worst drought in decades. According to the World Food Programme, in the past two years, the number of severely food insecure people around the world has more than doubled to 276 million. There is a real risk that multiple famines will be declared in 2022. And 2023 could be even worse. Humanitarian support is essential, but it's not enough. Because this is not just a food crisis, it goes beyond food and requires a coordinated multilateral approach with multidimensional solutions.